I'm at the mercy of this asshole who will not budge on his idea. Do you feel comfortable just doing him? Nah, man. I need it to look like this apocalyptic in the background. You know, I'm gonna put a background behind it. Mm. That's a lot of to cram into a six-hour tattoo on the ribs, you know. There's no way I'm gonna be able to pull this off. You will have six hours to create a terrifying black and gray demon. Based on your work, one of you will be closing shops. Good luck. So you want to do it on your stomach. Yeah. When the skin is very loose and deflated, it makes it extremely hard to tattoo. It's extremely hard to work on the stomach, and it's a disadvantage to me because it's skin that was now stretched down. I have to make sure it looks damn good mm -hmm. so that I can impress the judges okay. and win this thing. Let me make it clear. Mm -hmm. I do not care if you go home. I don't care if you lose or win. This is going on my body. Don't think that I'm sitting here arguing with you, because that's not what I'm doing. No, so. I'm explaining it. your status in no. the competition is, is none of my concern. What the hell am I supposed to do? I've left my family to come here to win, and this guy's going to come in my room and tell me that he doesn't give a and all he wants is his free tattoo? I'm screwed. Stomach tattoo, huh? I knew you could do it. Well, if you knew I could do it, why wouldn't you give it to somebody else that couldn't? That wouldn't be no fun. Yeah, I was giggling a little bit. I was like, oh, man, Sausage is going to have his work cut out. Yeah, you didn't give a shit about me or the competition or anything else. Really? We picked you a good one. Yeah, because ultimately I was able to reel him back in, and he's going to get a really cool chest piece. What? Talked him out of it? Uh-huh. So it's, it's all good. Sausage, you slippery little wiener. Every time I give him a hard canvas, he slips out of it. Sausage talked him out of the stomach. God, here he is. Yeah, that little sausage. <laughs> that mother No, right? What are your thoughts, bro? This is not going to work. I'm really disappointed because I really wanted that pillar. Just the pillar, or is it everything else, too? My canvas doesn't want to work with me. He doesn't give a This is not what we discussed at all. It is what we discussed. No, it's I've not. It's not what we discussed I'll get the, I'll get the, This is not the picture. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. I will tattoo myself to stay in this competition, but the last thing I'm going to tattoo on myself is a demon. Being a new man of faith, that goes against my religious beliefs. When I look up pillar, there's this kind of pillar. Is this what you're kind of hoping for then, too? I was kind of hoping that you would do it. I can't let him walk out the door. Four hours remaining. This is going to kind of come in, and then everything's just going to kind of fade off as, as you see it. Is that all right? It's fine. Work? Yes. Cool. And then we'll get you started, OK? You ready? Little Pope. The guys that were up there today, they're gunning for the top people. As much as they sit here and try to throw me under the bus, I'm going to battle my way to win. Mm -hmm. There's a couple bullies that kind of feel that if they give me enough maybe I'll just trip and then I'll fall. But they don't realize that my history has been to take whatever is given to me and absolutely crush it. Karma's a bitch. Artists, today, you had to show negative space with a black and gray demon. Sausage. I gotta admit, when he said gargoyle, I kind of rolled my eyes like, oh boy. It just sounds so corny. When I saw it, I was pretty much blown away. There's a lot of layers to it, and it looks like stone, but it has movement and action, and the perspective is odd and different. It's pretty amazing. Thank you. The dynamic hand that you have on the foreground is a really nice touch. All that really heavy shading, but with the nice skin breaks, makes it very legible. It doesn't get lost in the background. Overall, man, it's a good job. Sounds like Halo and Scott's attempt at throwing you under the bus may have backfired, huh? I'm hoping so. Well done, man. Thank you. Before we send you back to the loft, the judges have determined a winner. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. You'll have six hours to tattoo a fierce warrior. And based on your work, one of you will be closing shop. Good luck. I want a kick-ass tattoo. I just need specifics. I want like a breastplate, like a chest plate. The helmet with like the nose and the eyes are showing. What do you think about a spear instead of a sword? You gotta just tell me which type you want. We got ourselves a bitch, ladies and gentlemen. Scott was trying to give me a difficult one to deal with. He succeeded. I want you to be able to like see his bicep and like his forearm and his fist. That might not be anatomically possible. We also want to finish this thing. That is true too, but I don't, I don't like that idea. I don't like that. 
And that limits us. He just wants to fight me at every single turn. Yeah, no, no, I don't, I don't want that much. Uh, whatever, dude, I don't care. This could definitely get me sent home. Yeah, that body position was weird. The arm was all wonky. I just don't get it. You told me oh, you're not gonna change it on me? You changed the arm and you changed the shield. Yeah, but the problem is that it looks weird. Look, I'm telling you now, it doesn't look right. It doesn't look right it or look you can't right. do it. You're not capable. My canvas is an ass. What happened was you told me this. And you no, said, no, I understand. You're not gonna that. ask me to change it. And then you changed it on me. I had to change it. I had to change it for what's gonna work. And you signed up to get a free tattoo. No, I'm supposed to get something that I'm supposed to be happy with. You're gonna get what's gonna work for the competition. I, I, that's how it works. Don't cost me my opportunity because you're a dick. You're a dick, dude. I gotta like this. But I gotta do what's gonna win. So I'm gonna try to do what you're asking for I'm right sure now. But if it doesn't work out, I'm just gonna wind up tattooing myself. That's comforting. <sighs> Holy annoying. If you're gonna tattoo yourself, then what's the whole point of this competition? I don't understand. Is this how you treat customers in your shop? This is something that I have to wear for the rest of my life, first and foremost. It's a contest secondary. His shield is dark. There's a lot of dark in one spot. I can't stand this jerk off. There has to be shadows. If there's no shadows, we got nothing. You don't think it's too much like black in one spot, though? If I thought it was too much, I wouldn't put it in there. He's complaining. He's questioning what I'm doing. It looks like there's so much black going on there in the arm. It's hard to concentrate when you keep asking me stuff like that. You know what I mean? I know what I'm doing, bro. I should have done what I would have done in the real world and thrown his ass the f out. And ta-da. It, it just, it looks a little, a little too dark. I, I like, I feel like his arm and the, and, the, and the shield, it's just like, it's one shade. I would have liked, like, to see his arm a little bit more. one shade. Jay's inability to work with a canvas oh. really shows in his tattoo. If you want to be Ink Master, you need to be able to work with any canvas and still make a good tattoo. The judge come over, taking a look at it with a big smile on his face. He didn't do that because I was up. No. Pack your bags, dude. Your girlfriend's missing you. Go home. Today, we asked you to show detail by tattooing warriors. Jay. Man, really, what I just got to get into is this guy. I mean, we've seen some bad backgrounds. This is some bad background. That was the end of the tattoo where you just wouldn't stop moving. You would have been better off just doing your figure alone. The warrior's drawn and shaded nicely. I think the second you got to the background, you were like, it just looks like you're tattooing really pissed off. You will have six hours to tattoo a new school dinosaur. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. Stegosaurus in a varsity jacket. Playing video games on the stone TV? Yes. Okay. What the f am I gonna do with this? How are you supposed to put a TV into this tattoo without blocking half of it? Some red converse with a date on the bottom to be like a tribute to my father. Holy crap. This guy wants like a dozen elements packed into one tattoo. Sausage, you came out swinging at me right now. You're petty, dude. You're a petty son of a bitch. Ooh, you're intense, man. Mm. Oil tight. Trying to make a winner here. I have to tattoo a new school Triceratops playing video games on Jack Skellington. He only has like this much fat between his skin and bone. Mm. And it really hurts to get tattooed when you're that skinny. Let's keep getting it over with. This guy will not sit through what I have to give him, and this is bull yet again. Today, Jimmy challenged you to tattoo his specialty, New School, and we're judging color theory. Maddie, what exactly did your canvas ask you for? He wanted a little dinosaur kid playing video games in front of a stone TV. Why is the TV not plugged in? Where would I plug it in, you know? It just has no place to go. On the front of the TV, there's an awkward black line that comes out. It wasn't a, a mistake line, if that's what you're asking. It looks like an unfinished line. I was making that little cord for the controller. The TV itself, I'm not a fan of it. Just not as striking, as powerful of an image. You'll have six hours to show contrast with an outer space tattoo. And based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. Ideally, in this tattoo, what exactly are you looking for? OK, I want a more realistic scene. And you wanted to do three planets, right? I have three people's names, um, uh -huh. my two children and my best friend, right. that I kind of wanted to incorporate into there, but not like 
obviously. Kind of atmospherically, like you can hide it in a planet if you want. I have to convince my canvas not to do names. I never try to convince people out of something that they feel strongly about. Right. But in this competition, mm -hmm. names send people home. Like, I might be So I wanted to, like, a whole battlefield, and then uh, with a planet, a black hole, or a wormhole, whichever, and some kind of alien battlefield. Like, are they battling on a planet? No, there's just an outer space. Uh, shooting at each yeah, other. Yeah, pretty much, you know, flying saucers. Okay. Pew, 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 okay. Shooting at each other. You have got to be kidding me. The tattoo that I'm going to make will probably be around this size, but it'll be easy to build off of. Because we won't finish if you do your whole ribs. I think you should be able to. Totally you should be able to. It's not possible to finish something that size. If I don't finish this tattoo, I am screwed. I'm gonna kick those boys' butts today. Uh, yeah. Originally, my canvas requested three planets and three names, but I convinced my canvas that we are not doing the names. Gian, dummy. Little match made in heaven, Gian, sorry. He thought he was throwing us under the bus. Mm. Gian thought he was giving me one of the worst canvases, and I turned that around. Ryan stoked. You talked that lady out of that Stoked. Right? Mm -hmm. I would be. That's a little bit. Huh? Oh, this is so good. Oh, yeah. This canvas keeps moving around. He is not sitting very well at all. Sorry. Mike's tuned into outer space right now with his canvas. He's a weirdo. I think I'm really Today, you had to show contrast by tattooing outer space. Mike, you've hit contrast here. There is some nice areas of darkness in the space, but you've got circles. You've got different areas that are geometrically supposed to be parallel and perfect, and they're all a little rough. That dude was weird. He just kept sitting up and moving all around, and he wouldn't sit still. What I don't like is the way you tattooed. It doesn't have that finished look that I'm used to seeing from you. It doesn't have the polish. This is why you don't want to phone those flash challenges in. No, yeah. You're going to get a guy like this if yeah. you do. If I get a skull pick, I'm going to get him. Ryan. A lot of people hit contrast today, but I really think you hit it the best. The top two planets, just the contrast with the light purple, the open highlight, then the black, you really get the idea of contrast to create a shape. I really like the black that you use, even though the rings get a little wobbly. And I think you have a lot of good tricks. Thank you. Looking strong here. Thank you. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Ryan. Thank you. You'll have six hours to tattoo a color realistic battle. Based on your work, one shop will be out. Good luck. What's up, buddy? You. DJ, nice to meet you. What is it exactly that you were looking to get again? Warrior princess fighting a dark warrior. But we need to add an element that he's getting the <laughs> kicked out of him. Right. I want to look on her face. That's just badass. She's standing over him. She's got her sword sort of resting on him. Gowns can't look perfect. I want blood. I want holes. We thought we had the best canvas. She said one thing in the lineup, and now she's telling us a million different things that she wants. We're working with six hours. This is easily a 25-hour tattoo. Yeah. There are just elements that I'm not willing to compromise on. If she's not willing to work with us, then this whole thing's going to turn into a show. I thought you said you wanted to soften up the top. Um, it's pretty soft as it is. I want the top to look a little more even with the bottom. The only battle in this situation is our canvas battling with us. I'm just not seeing your background, and I'm, I'm not picturing it on the tattoo, and I'm worried that it's going to not look good. Yeah, but as artists, we like to give you something that we see as well as a collaboration together. But no. it's my tattoo, so give me, give me a minute. OK. Now I'm in freaking panic mode. Just go. Trying to give her best tattoo, and she's second guessing everything we're doing. This is crazy. Welcome back. So I want you to do what you want to do with the dress. Okay. And um, I'm not gonna do the background. Okay. 
I feel like a lot of this comes down to this girl not being able to sit for a six hour tattoo. Jess, do you want me to get in or you go? I just, I think you tattoo a little more gently. No if worries. You're good. Yeah, that's fine. This girl's insane. Absolutely. Today, you had to create battle scenes with clear composition, pins and needles. Was there a conflict when you got going with this canvas? Oh my she God. didn't want to trust us on any aspect. Aside from it not looking like a battle scene, and aside from the problems with the canvas and blah, 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 you drew those hands. Those hands are jacked. And you put that on somebody. I would have quit too. You win your client over in the beginning, and you make them shut up by impressing them with a beautiful drawing. Your art speaks louder than anything. Artwork, first and foremost. That's how you get the title. You will have six hours to show solid fundamentals tattooing a clock. Fail to impress the judges, and your time in this competition will be up. Good luck. I like the ingredients that you're giving me All here. All right, don't uh, screw it up. The pressure is a lot harder on me because I feel like I have to redeem myself. I got to prove to these guys that I deserve to be here. So she wants a mm -hmm. steampunkish owl, top hat, black and gray, put some books stacked that on some books. That is way too much in six hours. What's the most important elements to, of this to you? All of it. Can't be done. Yes, it can. Not a chance. What you don't want is your artist rushing. It'll end up looking like I don't think I could pull this off. You are no doing? match for me. I know, you, you already no got me scared. Me. How you feeling? OK, just check on him, because now I'm, I'm worried. Going to. I will make sure you're walking out with the best okay. tattoo he can do. I got you. Go. How you doing, bud? Just going to just sketch him real quick. All right, be confident with her. Make sure it's all nice and clean. Don't bite off more than you can chew. I got a tough canvas. She started off very, very nervous, and now her leg keeps on twitching and it's making my line work look inconsistent. Make sure that all the little stuff is as smooth and clean as you can. I have a lot going through my head right now. I want to impress Christian. I want to impress my fellow teammates. It's just, it's hard. Today, you had to prove your fundamentals tattooing a clock. JP. Oh, damn. Man, I really like the drawing, but technically, Fundamentals, you are falling short. It is just really sloppy. The line work in this, I have a hard time finding redeeming areas. I'm now believing that it's not nerves, I'm believing that it's you. I don't know if it's your nerves or if it's you, but for me, this one lacks a lot of the fundamentals. I think it's a good looking tattoo. Could it be my technique or could it be the nerves? I'm still trying to just kind of figure that out, bro. You have six hours to tattoo a difficult part of the body. And based on your work, one of you will be going home. Good luck. How do you want to do it? Apocalypse the Angel. Okay. He has a staff standing by a tombstone with the crow there with his hand out. Do you want to do like a full body type of thing? Yeah. I'm at the mercy of this asshole who will not budge on his idea. Do you feel comfortable just doing him? Nah, man. I need it to look like this. Apocalyptic in the background. You know, I'm gonna put a background behind it. Mm. That's a lot of to cram into a six hour tattoo on the ribs, you know. There's no way I'm gonna be able to pull this off. Just keep pushing through. Yeah, yeah, man. Get this, man. Yeah, I got it right. Hey, I think Kyle's in trouble. Kyle's dude's hurting a little bit. And the drawing sucks. There's some real shaky lines in it. You think his drawing's better than TJ's? TJ's is realism. You can't tell what it is. Get the f out Stop. of here. When you guys were on top, it was all fun. You guys no. wanted to run your mouth and talk Dude. a bunch of shit, And now you lost two in a row, and your people went home. That's how it goes. Wait till your dudes start going happen. home. And it's going to happen. I know it. My chemist wants a 16-hour tattoo condensed into six hours. But he's squirming like a little bitch. God. Damn. Damn. All right. That's, oh, Right. You gotta finish it, man. No, I have the coffin. Great tattooers go home all the time on this competition because you're at the mercy of your canvas, and this dude is done. I think I'm going home. Don't plan your funeral before your body dies. Even if he was being a dick, Kyle is still my little brother, and I love him, and I want him to do well. It's so difficult knowing that I can't do anything to help him out. I dropped the ball today. Cheer up. Cheer no. Up. Cheer the f up. It's hard. Gonna go pack my bags. Oh my god, Kyle. 
killing me. Today, you are being tested on creativity, tattooing difficult body parts. Kyle. I like the illustration, but you shaded over your own artwork. What you're missing here, man, is different values. Contrast. You've got one tone of black. You got the same value in the cloak, the beard, the staff, the hood, the wing, and the background. I definitely would have gone in there with more tones had he been able to sit longer. This one's probably the biggest struggle you've had since you've been here. All right, guys, you're going to have six hours to demonstrate color theory by creating new school tattoos. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your bags. Good luck. The women really hit their targets because they gave me and Cam the hardest canvases. A horse riding a cowboy. Yes. I do not do new school. That cartoony shit don't fly with me. Maybe the, the cowboy look like he's struggling because a horse is heavier than the man, so. You can even make the guy bucking if you want, you know? Okay, like... it's gonna be hard trying to pull off this design. I definitely got screwed over on this one. No one on my team does new school, so basically now I just have to teach a bunch of artists a whole new art form in a few hours. I might have to switch up this whole design, honestly. The whole body situation is just driving me crazy, so I'm about to just try to convince him to get a cowboy horse, especially with I the I think time. that's a good idea. All right. All right, so I had troubles putting a horse and having it proportionally right on the body. Right, OK. So I feel like the safe way for me to do it is do a cowboy horse. No, I, I still kind of want the horse riding the man. It just has to look like the horse is on top of the man. If you were to do something where the man is in front and he's blocking the horse body, would that be something you'd be? I mean, I can settle cool for with? that. I just I don't want like a horse man combination. I am struggling for real. All right, so I finally got it drawn. How you like that? Yeah, that could work. It's definitely going to be more detailed than this, though. For sure. For okay. Sure. Woo! Now it's time to get started. In order to finish this, I got a tattoo faster than I ever have before. I'm greased lightning. So you're one of those people that responds well to pressure then. I try not to lose focus because when I did lose focus, I did bad on a tattoo, so I learned my lesson on that one. I've given up time with my daughter, and today is not gonna be the day I give up. Today, you had to show solid color theory by creating a new school tattoo. Fun. Go get him, buddy. Wish me luck. It looks like you put the stencil on the dark. You just put the boot right into the other tattoo? Because he had a small arm. Dude, you're telling me that that boot can't move over a quarter of an inch? I know you're in a hurry. And then we've got that bottom horse hoof. Nobody knows where that foot's coming from. Nobody knows where that foot's going to. It looks like you were like, oh, shit. What am I going to do? Yeah, and I, just, you had to I was come just through. focused on finishing, honestly. This is a tougher outing for you today. You'll have six hours to precisely tattoo a traditional illustrator portrait. Fail to impress the judges, and you'll be going home. Good luck. We're doing full size. These details are going to be like as close as I can. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like a pinup. Well, I was yeah. thinking about maybe like doing like a little flower in front of it. Yeah. You know, so you have like a little illustration, and then like you have her, so it makes sense, like the transition. But that's like flower on my wrist. I don't give a shit about flowers at all. Maybe I could put a ribbon under it. But I don't know if I like the ribbon. This canvas is giving me such a hard time, she doesn't want to work with me in any aspect of this. Could you do like a stone? I think that's going to feel like morbid, like a tombstone. I personally don't mind if it just ends. I do. Like that's like the most unartistic way to end it is unflattering. She has to meet me in the middle or I'm going home. The flower is literally just an afterthought. But I feel like it's tacky. And then tomorrow I'll be like, what the f did I do? We see what you she won't let me add any kind of frame to it, so it's just gonna end like that. I wanted to add some kind of like filigree, a rose, a flower. She wants nothing. So how does she want it to end? She wants it just to end like that, like just fade. I d did not think she was gonna be like that at all. I think it's gonna be so hard to make this look like her. That's really what she looks like. I always make sure you get these real nice in there. This is super important. I think I may have f myself with this one. The other ones, I don't know, dude, what I would have done with them. I'm not mad at anybody. No, I'm just letting you know, like, I would truly thought that would be a good one for you. I'm just doing it how I want to do it, and then that's what she's going to get, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. 
I was afraid that I scared you away. I wasn't trying to be mean. I hope she doesn't think I'm no, actually I, really I nice. I definitely went back and I was like, I don't think this is gonna work. Since I gotta go more illustrative, now I have to show a little bit more detail and the face is too small to show all the details and make it look like this person. I got a little nervous. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, we felt the same, but we feel the same now, so that's better. That's it. It has teeth in the tattoo and I don't know how to approach this without making it look like it has veneers. Ah, oh, shit, grandma's got a mustache. Oh my God, <laughs> I was like, are you kidding? <laughs> Tough crowd, mm -hmm. tough crowd. I am shook as I think I'm going home. Why? Like, I'm supposed to be making it look traditional, but I went to black and gray. Like this? Yours is nice. Mine uh, doesn't look traditional, though. I feel like you have to go traditional, but not so traditional where it doesn't look like the person anymore. Mm -hmm. Today, you had to tattoo a traditional illustrative portrait. Pawn. As far as capturing the look of the person with a simple drawing, you don't do it. If you look at her right eye, the top of her eye is curved, and the tattoo, it's a straight line and then curved underneath. Just the little looks of what's going on, you lose it. The shape of the mouth is off, the width of the neck. As dark as you went in the collarbone, as weird as the shoulders come out, I can be like, okay, it's stylized, gritty, it's whatever if you're looking to go that route of illustration, but what I can't not see is the precision in the face. Your eyes don't line up. The nose has a crazy curve to it. The mouth is off center. That's all the places where you need to be precise. You'll have six hours to tattoo a pinup, fail to create a dream girl, and you can kiss your dream of $100,000 goodbye. Good luck. Having her like hold an impact wrench, and then obviously it has you know an air hose connected going into it. Honestly, I have no idea what my what my canvas wants. He's saying a lot of words that I don't that I'm not able to catch. With the rat rod itself, and then the air hose going basically like around her nipples. Every time he talk about something that is already complicated, he adds more things to it. And then I don't know if it's possible to get a car in the background. It's too many stuff. We're not gonna be able to accomplish that in six hours. I actually, I had a pinup girl on me and got it covered up. The guy did a horrible job. Well, let's make sure this one is great because it's pretty big. This canvas was definitely a shot at me. But guess what, man? I'm a canvas whisperer. We came out for a 10,000 elements to three. Nah, I'm having a lot of fun, bro. Good, man, I'm glad. Even when I came to the States with no English, I still were able to survive, you know, because I'm able to create this interaction when people trust me. Today, you had to show artistry tattooing a pinup. Let's see how you did. Hiram. Her face is great. On a face this small, keeping the eyes black like that really sinks them in and makes it look great. You do have a couple of wonky lines going on in the tire, but overall, man, I mean, that's a tough tattoo to pull off, and I think you do a great job with it. Thank you. You'll have six hours to tattoo a Japanese crane. Okay. Keep your composure or you will be heading home. Good luck. The rice field down at the bottom, the crane, and maybe like a mountain. Rice field. I'm trying to picture this design. It's a lot. He's trying to make sure composition-wise it's going to flow well. His cap is about the size of my forearm. There's not a lot of real estate here, so I'm going to have to try to remove some of these items. Do you want it to Swings no. open, about to take flight, or just like no, stagnant. I don't want to take flight at all. No. Okay, it's too stiff of an image. If I can just open this crane up, I can really shape the calf. But if I can't, I might be screwed. Yeah, it's the last five, and I'm a major competitor in this house. Like nobody's been able to like really stump me up yet, you know? Oh shit! Is that why they gave this to you? Is this the most painful spot? Ah, uh, they gave it to me because it's a painful spot and. You asked for a lot of things. I did, really? I love tattooing so much. It's one of those things where I can just shut out the world. As a child, I used to just go to my room, shut everybody out, and I would just draw for hours. It was my outlet for a lot of emotions and pain that I had to deal with. <sighs> Bob definitely screwed me over hard, but I'm not going to let your shot land at all, buddy. Today, you are being tested on composition, tattooing Japanese cranes. Let's see how you did. Jarrell. The question here for me on composition is, is that an ant pile? Because the size relationship from that mountain to that sun to the white cap and the bird, there's serious issues with depth. The sun can't be bigger than anything on the whole tattoo that's in the back. 
Is that a wind, that scoop that comes back? I was trying to show off some wind, just to break up the elements. You have water, you have wind, you have clouds, and tonally, and they're all exactly the same. And it's just a lot to take in. Yeah. There's not a harmony going on with anything in here. The clouds don't really match the water. The water's dramatic, the clouds are bubbly and loose. Today, this did not fly for you.